Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabby, if you don't already know me, and I love to talk all things personal finance, organization, and lifestyle on this channel. And if you are into that, you should definitely subscribe. Today's video is going to be my September plan with me. Please disregard my broken nail. Let's watch me struggle so hard trying to light this match. <laughs> Ended up just lighting it with a lighter. We will get going with my digital planner in GoodNote 6. This is the Flourish Undated Planner. I will leave it in the description box down below. And I I am going to start by showing you guys my Pinterest vision board for the month. This is my theme. It is more so coffee shop vibes. So lots of coffee, lots of coffee shops, things that I associate with coffee shops. So lots of brown colors, you know, cute fit, getting a coffee and of course jazz music and yeah, just nice fall, early fall vibes. So I also added a bunch of coffee themed stickers that I am going to be adding in my Procreate app. So what I have been doing is just adding a bunch of layers one layer for each sticker and then i just hide the layer after i'm done with it and that way if something goes wrong with the export i can just bring the layer back so i will create a new layer and then i will insert an image and then i will use the select feature that s at the top left to select to the background and then i just erase the background using the eraser and just make sure that your background is turned off in the back the background layer and then that way when you export it as a png file it will not have any background and you can save it as a sticker in good notes i am going to go ahead and do that with the couple of stickers i have and then we will start to paste these into good notes and save them so that we can use them for the rest of the month will insert the exported image as a regular image and then I will crop it and downsize it just so that it is not ginormous every single time I paste it and then once it is at the right size I will add it as an element and then you can save it to a new sticker pack I just make a new pack for every single month and then I can use these throughout the month super easily by just clicking the sticker the little star button at the top there anytime I want to add a sticker next I will be working on my vision board I usually just save some general images that fit my theme Back background images and then I just like to fill the background with these images so that when I start to paste images down there isn't just a bunch of white space in the back and I will go through and add images from my vision board I made in Pinterest. I usually just save images that fit my theme. I don't really think about it too much as an actual vision board except for this outfit with Dakota Johnson. I'm obsessed and I really want a sweater like that but outside of that it's usually just a visual guide for the theme of the month. It's not really necessarily a vision board but I enjoy looking at this throughout the month and making my spreads look nice. This just helps me use my planner a lot more. I find if I just scribble down a couple of to-dos on my weekly spreads and my daily spreads, I never actually reference back to it. It just makes me want to avoid it. So I find just making things look nice helps me use my planner and then my planner helps me keep to my habits and it just works for me. So that is why I put so much effort into these and also because it's relaxing and enjoyable and fun for me. I like to be creative in little ways like this. So I also added my stickers to my vision board. I think these stickers are so cute this month so I wanted to use them throughout my spread and to get some pen colors for my pens and for text I ended up picking some images from Pinterest that had some colors I wanted to use. You can usually look up a keyword and then put palette at the end like color palette and lots of these images will come up that have nice colors pre determined for you and then you can just use the dropper feature in the pen toggle you can select the dropper in the top right when you were creating a custom color and then you can pick anywhere on your page to create that color in your dropper so this makes it super easy to make sure you're on theme and i will just add all of my pen colors in to the top little toggle there so they're there is quick access to the colors that I need and I will do this exact same process with the highlighters. I ended up using the dropper feature with the vision board just so I can get some of the lighter colors that were used throughout the month. I picked a lot of like butter yellows and creams and light browns and light greens and yeah I just want to make sure that when I use these colors it kind of gives a little visual interest to the page. I usually use them as background colors for the titles and then also for the text I write throughout the month. Thank you. 
Next up, we will work on the monthly spread. I wanted to use some text like I did last month. I've been using text over my own handwriting quite a bit in the last couple of spreads and it usually just looks a lot cleaner. So I will usually just save a text type of font and size of font and use that throughout the month. I will save that as the default text. I also wanted to make sure I added pen colors for the text that I use. That way there are just some quick colors that match the theme as well. And you can see me here going through and adding those colors with the vision board and the dropper feature once again. I then add the dates with a sticker I have saved. I've just done this once and saved all of the dates as a sticker and then I just shift them around as I need to. This saves so much time compared to writing these out. So thank you to whoever gave me that tip a couple of months back because it has saved me a ton of time. And then I like to go through and make a little vision board in the bottom right here where it says notes and reminders. I don't actually like to use this area for notes and reminders just cause I don't reference back to this page that that much. So I will just use extra space as a way to add more of my themes images and to make things look nice. Once I have placed everything as I like it, I will begin to add the important dates into my calendar spread. And I will also be going through and adding my monthly priorities and intentions and also my to do's. I usually do my goals and intentions in my budget tracker. I have a budget tracker I sell on Etsy. And in that tracker, there is a monthly goals planning tab that I use to set my goals. If you have missed my recent September reset video, that is where I set my September goals. So if you are interested in those, I will leave that video in the cards up above. I just referenced my budget tracker and all of my goals and I put those in the same page here just in case I want to reference them in my planner and I don't want to go back to my budget spreadsheet at that time. I just make sure everything is the same across the board and now I will be adding important dates and appointments and birthdays and things like that into my calendar spread. I have a few Virgos in my life that I have birthday for at the beginning of the month so that is quite exciting my friend Megan and then also my dad I ended up using this wisdom font wisdom script up quite a bit I thought that that would be my monthly font and text that I would use but I didn't actually love the way it looked I thought it looked a little bit messy when using it throughout the month I ended up switching this quite a bit later on in my spreads but for this page it doesn't look too too bad so you will see me fussing around with some fonts though just trying to find something that looks good and then I just wanted to fill up my spread with lots of other images and stickers and just make it look nice as I always like to. I then will be going through and adding my intentions and my th top three priorities and then also some to do's as I mentioned from my goals tab in my budget tracker. I like to erase any of the background highlighter I use below my text. What I initially do is I will draw the highlight in the back just because I want the text to go over top of the highlight and that way the highlight doesn't change the color of the text. But then once I write the text out and I know exactly how long it is, I like to just erase any extra background highlighter. This is so technical and not necessary at all. I just like the way it looks. I am moving on to my weekly spread. I have gone through and highlighted all of the titles for the weekly spread and then I am going through now and adding my my habits into my habit tracker. These are the habits that I just forget to do <laughs> most of the time. I did include as one of the items my 45 soft habits just as a reminder to check back at my 45 soft habits. I will talk about that a little bit more later. I just make sure that I use this habit tracker for like the things that I just need a good reminder to do every single day. I am the absolute worst at taking my supplements. It's really hard for me so I need as much possible reminders everywhere to remind me to take them. I am then going through and using the text I ended up liking for the month. This is Georgia Bold, apparently, and I liked using the bigger font size throughout the spread. I think it just looked kind of different than I usually do. Plus, it fills the space in a little bit more because I don't use my weekly spread to plan too, too much outside of important appointments and dates 
plus my workout spread, I like to just fill the space a little bit more. So I decided to go with a lot larger font for this month and just to see if I like it or not. Plus it is very easy to read from a distance. I do not need to put my face two inches away from the iPad. <laughs> Next, I'm going through and just adding my highlights to this. I didn't care too much that this was behind, so whatever. Although I will say GoodNote 6 kept on placing the highlight above and below where I was actually trying to draw it and it would keep jumping up and down. I don't know if that's a glitch or like a recent update, but it kind of made it so the highlight was never sent on the text and it kind of bugs me but I didn't actually end up fixing it because that would just take too long. I am adding the highlights for all of my to-dos for the rest of the month and then I will start adding my to-dos on top of that. I just decided to add the days of the week as well in the font that I wanted to use. This is the wisdom script I mentioned. I did it for every single day of the week and then later on realized I absolutely hated the way this looked. Just kind of messy. I'm not sure how to say it otherwise. So I will go back and change the font later, but yeah, for now it looks like this. As I mentioned, the highlighter was really bothering me, so I fixed it for a couple of them, but not all of them and then added all of my priorities for the week. I also used too big of a marker size and went through and updated that later as well because I hated the way it looked very particular with some of these spreads. <laughs> I am wanting to do a big change of season cleaning job around my house. I like to do a big clean and sort of reset my space every new season. It just feels like the right time to do it. I have been craving just redecorating, not redecorating necessarily, but just taking everything down and finding new places for things just so that I can reuse the stuff I already have, but sort of make my space feel newer and fresher. So maybe I will get around to that early this month and hopefully I have the time to do so. I really enjoyed the stickers I saved for this month. They were all coffee themed, as I mentioned. I also have quite a few that are Gilmore Girls theme. You can see me going through and updating that font, by the way. That's when I went through and changed the font. And I will begin the weekly spreads as well right now. But as I mentioned, I have been loving Gilmore Girls. I started Gilmore Girls last year. I had never watched it before that. And I cannot believe I completely missed out on this amazing, nostalgic, fall-themed show. And even though I didn't watch it as a teenager or as a kid, I find it so nostalgic still. Just the fashion and this era where there wasn't cell phones. I just find it so... So yeah, nostalgic. It reminds me of growing up. Even though I don't have an actual memory of watching this show and how I felt at the time of watching it, I still find it so nostalgic. So looking forward to watching that. And what is more fall than Gilmore Girls? I am now working on my weekly spread. I will be copying everything I show you here to every single day of the week. I like to add some time blocking stickers and then also the time block I have for my workday and that way I can sort of plan things around that. Around that. I also add all of my habits that I'm really bad at remembering to do. You can see right now I am building my own sticker for my 45 soft challenge. This is a grocery list sticker from a sticker pack I got from Flourish Planners and I ended up just covering the title and adding my 45 soft challenge in there and then I added some text for my daily habits that I'm doing for this challenge and that way I have a sticker. Basically I selected everything once I removed the background stuff, selected the sticker I made and then made that an element similar to how we made the sticker earlier and that way I can just quickly access that anytime I want to during the month. The habits I show in my to-do list are just my daily to-dos that I am really bad at. These are the ones I need to be rem reminded of. They're also the ones I basically show in my habit tracker. So the habits I just need to see as often as humanly possible to remember to do them. I then copied all of these markups to the days of the week. Obviously for all of my work days I left the time block portion on the right there with the regular things I do on weekdays and then I switched it up a little bit for the weekends obviously waking up a little bit later different morning routine and obviously no time blocked work on the weekends I then want to go through and just add a little personality and fit the theme on every single day I colored in the stickers I have for the time blocking and then I also added background highlights for the text I want to add later in the week I didn't want to overly plan these days just because I want to leave it for the morning of that day or the night before and then I can actually make sure that the to do's line up with what I need to do but I I do like to add the images and lots of the stuff that I know I have to add anyway and then that way I don't have to do it later just to make it easier for myself so that I end up using the planner during my busier weeks when I have work and editing for YouTube and all that stuff. I 
wanted to make sure I had the 45 soft challenge every single day so that it's a good reminder to do my daily to do's and I kind of kept it the same sort of layout for all of these days. I just switched up the colors, the stickers, just to make each day look a little bit new and exciting without actually having to change too, too much. This just saves time obviously and I will usually copy these days and use them throughout the month instead of having a fresh blank page. Something about a clean blank page when I am busy in the middle of the week just makes me want to skip planning and I just need to do as many things as I possibly can to make it easier for myself so that I actually use my planner. As I mentioned, planner keeps me on track with my habits and a empty planner day just makes me want to not plan and therefore not do my habits. So this is my little workaround is to just make things easy for me without also compromising on the look and the theme of the month. We are basically done. I'm adding some finishing touches, a couple extra stickers, but here is the final flip through. I think this is so cute. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a great time filming and creating this video and let me know what you guys are looking forward to in the month of September and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.